Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a really cool Father's Day meal. And this one is not in my cookbook, Eclectic Entertaining. So be sure and stay tuned, it's a keeper. Let's go over the ingredients for our grilled steaks today. We're going to do grilled steaks with a dry coffee rub and a reduction of balsamic vinegar. And then we're also going to grill asparagus. So I've got my ribeyes right here. I've got ground coffee, regular coffee, not decaf. And then I also have ground peppercorns, garlic powder, and sea salt. Here's my espresso balsamic that I'll be using in a little bit to reduce and pour over the steaks when we're all finished. The asparagus I've put in a zipper baggie and I'm just going to mix lemon pepper and olive oil, shake it up, and those two will go on the grill. So let's get going. All right, let's start making the steak rub. We're gonna put the dry ingredients on my plate here. Mix it around and then just start coating them. You can use your hands or you can use a big old fork like I've got here. Okay, this is so good. You can make up your rub ahead of time and have it all set to go. Okay, let me get rid of that. Now the asparagus, I've washed them and trimmed them and they're in my little zipper baggie. And I'm going to carefully measure, not, olive oil and lemon pepper, which also has salt in it. So it really brings out the flavor. All right, so yes, give it a shake. And that really distributes the flavors nicely. If you've never had grilled asparagus, you just haven't lived. So, here's the next step. These really cool things I found in my local kitchen store, gourmet kitchen store, I might add, little clamps for your asparagus. That way they don't fall in the grill. So we're going to take a handful of these and just clamp them together as best we can. Okay, so can just continue doing that with all the asparagus until they're all done. Now let me show you the last thing that we're going to do. I'm taking my espresso balsamic vinegar, which tends to be pretty liquidy, and we're going to go over to my cooktop, and on a very low heat, I'm going to reduce it or basically thicken it up. And this is delicious poured over the steak when it's all said and done. And it's pretty good over the asparagus too. So we'll just get that going while everything else is happening and we'll be eating soon. All right, let's start grilling. Sear it for two minutes on a side. Uh, well, actually four minutes on a side, but rotating it every two minutes so that we get the nice grill marks. Look at this beautiful steak and the grilled asparagus. We're only missing one thing, reduction of balsamic vinegar. So I'm just going to take it from right from the pan to keep it nice and hot and just pour a little bit over the top. There, and we'll repeat that with every steak that we've cooked. All right, time for our picnic. Let's go. I am ready to dive into this beautiful meal that the griller gets all the credit for. So let me get my fork and knife out of my cute little napkin arrangement. That'll be another video. And go to it. By the way, I hope you have a great Father's Day and enjoy a beautiful steak like I am about to right now. Cheers. Thank you for watching this episode. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram at Eclectic Entertaining. Also, check out my website for more easy and elegant recipes.